as I said in previous lesson, uh, in this lesson I will install IC Realtime uh, config tool. So let's type what we need. So it will be IC, oh, sorry, IC real time config tool. IC Realtime support, downloads, blah, blah, blah. So I will quickly find it. Support. No, I don't have any questions. Uh, what are you looking for? I already typed what I'm looking for. Desktop viewing apps. Utilities. See, uh, these are apps for viewing. ICRSS. So you can you have a client software and you can view your cameras on that. Uh, yeah, now it's saying because I wanted to install on the on the uh, Chrome browser, but browser, but <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter now. So what we're looking for here? Um, I say config tool for MVR, DVR, for Windows, for Mac. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So with this, you can configure MVR, DVR, and uh, IP cameras, assuming that they will be. In uh, with default passwords, so we do download. But we defaulted that camera just a moment ago. So download. I want to see where the file is. Okay, let's see if I can start it from here. I rarely use Chrome. I'm mostly using Firefox. So sorry if I something will take longer than usual. Okay, so I have to unzip it first. Sorry, so let's see if I can drag it somewhere here. No, I cannot drag it here. Show in a folder, that's the best way. Sorry, but it went to some other folder I have another screen what is this finished or not ah sorry that's the file and we unzip it And again, it opened on my second screen. Okay, that's your tool application. Let's run it. Yes, I want. No, I don't want Chinese. <laughs> no offense to Chinese people. Uh, next. Yes, you have to agree. Install. And it's installing config tool for uh, IC Realtime cameras and NVRs and DVRs. Basically IC Realtime. Very, this very same uh, tool is being used for Dahua. Okay. So I close all those things because we don't need them. Oh, close the other window which is there. And there is our config tool. It will ask you because it works as an exe file. Exe allow access. You have to allow the access. Allow. Okay. So you see, uh, it already found the IP camera there. Uninitialized. What it means that camera is brand new or defaulted as we defaulted camera. Why there's another one? Oh. Just need one. So what you have to do, you have to initialize. And ah, 
There it is. Initialize. Okay, so we, we can do multiple, we can do one. So we initialize that karma. When you initialize that karma, it will ask you for a password. So, but I will leave it as it is, I hope. I hope that it will let me go, because then we can access the karma from the tool. Yeah, doesn't let me, okay. Anyway, uh, I'll just do admin admin and see what happens. See it will it will force you to create proper password. So again No, I don't want to register anything. No. Finish. Okay, so we have a karma. It's initialized. And that's the IP. So there's a few things you can do. You can basically go into the karma. You cannot do the web login because we are in, in different IP range than the computer. But what we can do we can have a look. So one thing is the IP modification. Yeah. So as you can see, we can uh, acquire DHCP. So system will automatically uh, add some IP, uh, or we can program static. So let's do that. And let's do. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't didn't let us because because the karma has a different password and that's the problem with the uh, because it forced us to <coughs> it it forced us to create a password when uh, initially initial initially logging in. And the pa I created password, and once I create a password, you won't be able to to do that. And basically, what we have to do, we have to connect the laptop, or change the IP of that computer, log in to that, and then we can change IP. So we have to do we have to change IP of that computer first. To so we can be able to log into that camera. Normally, if camera some depending on the, on the camera, if it's with all the camera, it won't force you to change the password. But if it, uh, let's see if we can. Uh, there's nothing there we can do. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can change the password here because I know the password. And let's see if we can. Okay. And we have that, and let's see. Ah, it did. But it doesn't tell us what the IP is. So, again, see this one? You can, if you know the password, sometimes you, you are working on a system where you don't know the password. But if you know the password, you can program there and we have to refresh and see now we have new this karma has changed this initialize has changed uh, IP what is advantage of using this this software advantage is this as you remember my IP range was that but I still could see the that karma in that software if I would try different tool I wouldn't find that karma but to be using a uh, 
uh, camera tool or we call it device tool from the uh, producer of your of your device it will let you in most cases definitely in IC read time to see the camera even if it's in different IP range that's just, that's is the, the the main thing so it gave the camera IP number and it's allowing us to log into the camera let's see these are uh, details of the camera type IP camera port so it's it's using the TCP IP not the UDP MAC address subnet gateway and so on and now you can click that and you should be able to but it will open the what's called it will open the external explorer but there was a problem with some plugin there uh, so I won't be using that so what I will do it's so with remember it's 53 you can go there one nine two one six eight one nine two fifty three click that and hello here we go admin and my password and we back in the camera we changed the IP so as you remember we in the previous video we defaulted then we use that to, to discover a camera on our network and once we did that we uh, change the IP to to match our network range subnet now you see it's not loading and uh, let's get rid of it. the problem with that will be most likely the settings as you remember I was telling that there was problem with getting a, a video on higher RC. it went to the highest resolution and just my I don't know my computer doesn't handle that let's see if it will handle that after defaulting I doubt it will because I already was trying something similar no so again maximum I can handle on this computer is this and we go to 15 and we can go to 265 compression save and we can do the same on this this another compression type on this one let's see what this one customize okay see it's very high we they don't use those use any of h264 265 265 plus um, okay and now we should get a live view without any problem come on okay we're back to our live views we are in Ireland so you know there's a lot of clouds winds and it's raining all the time almost oh there's a bird fly see the I, I, this was actually good to to see the movement but you you could see that sometimes it helps sometimes not it's good to see as i said uh movement on a moving person and then you can adjust frames but around 15 frames per second is okay so again you can we can do that you can adjust the focus or not but what we did we we use that tool which allows you to basically see the parameters and change ip and initialize the new camera on your dvr or nvr and that's that's basically how it works so we could do this just again default it again in the settings and then find it again and uh, that way you can use. so this will find all the devices which are from that make producer which is IC real time so whatever number is you can narrow down to just IC, IC IP cameras or you can narrow to NVRs which we don't have any now or DVRs 
and it will tell you what is there and what is not there. Also, it lets you go for IPv6, but we don't have IPv6 here. Basically, that's it. Thank you for your attention.